Hi, one and all. Uh, today our topic is node analysis and uh, loop analysis in MATLAB. Uh, we took a simple electric circuit here which consists of four resistance and uh, two current sources. And we will do node analysis uh, first and we will uh, uh, solve this circuit in node analysis and later we do it in uh, MATLAB. So first node analysis. So in order to do node analysis, we will apply Kirchhoff's current law here, KCL here. So first we have to identify the uh, number of uh, nodes here. So there are three nodes here, uh, namely V1, V2 and uh, V3. So we will apply KCL at uh, three nodes. So at node 1, so at node 1, we have to apply the KCL. So V1. So V1 minus V2 by 10 ohms plus V1 minus V3 by 20 ohms minus 5 is equal to 0. Similarly, we have to apply, uh, we have to uh, simplify this uh, equation. So now simplifying uh, equation, we will get uh, 0.15 V1 minus 0.1 V2 minus 0.05 V3 is equal to 5. So it, it will be the equation number 1. Similarly, we will apply KCL at node 2. So node 2, V2 minus V1 by 10 ohms plus V2 by alone 50 ohms plus V2 minus V3 by 40 is equal to 0. So now we will simplify this uh, equation. Uh, after simplification we got minus 0 0.1 V1 plus 0 0.145 V2 minus 0 0.025 V3 is equal to 0. Let it be equation 2. Now we will apply KCL at node so V3 minus V1 by 20 plus V3 by plus V3 minus V2 by 40 minus 2 is equal to 0. So when we simplify this equation, we will get minus 0 0.05 V1 minus 0 0.025 V2 plus 0 0.075 V3 is equal to 2. So let it be equation 3. So now look at all these three equations, we will uh, find some similarity. So some uh, constant value is multiplied with voltage value and it is equaling giving the value of uh, some uh, current value 5, 0 and 2. So here some constant value into V1 is equal to 
5 so it is in the form of some uh, constant value into voltage is equal to current value so what is that uh, format it is written in the format of uh, y11 into v1 plus y12 into v2 up to y1m into vm is equal to summation of i1 similarly the second it is in the form of y21 into v1 plus y22 into v2 plus up to y2m into vm is equal to summation of i2 similarly up to summation of im so here y11 y12 y1m and y21 are the admittance value of the matrix so the simplified form of this equation is written here admittance matrix y into v is equal to i so this is a simplified form of these uh, equations so in order to find the value of v so now we will put it in the in the form of this form like uh, admittance in admittance matrix into uh, voltage matrix and the current matrix so we will put here the first y11 11 is equal to 0 0.15 and uh, y12 is equal to minus 0 0.1 and uh, y13 is equal to minus 0 0.05 similarly y21 is equal to minus uh, 0 0.1 y22 is equal to 0.145 and y23 is equal to minus uh, 0.025 and uh, y31 is equal to 0.05 minus and y32 is equal to minus 0.025 and y33 is equal to 0.075 into uh, voltage v1 v2 and uh, v3 and current value 502 so this is the equation now in order to find the value of uh, unknown value here is v1 v2 v3 whereas we find we have the value of y and also we have the value of our current value so v is equal to y admittance matrix inverse into i matrix so if we write a matlab code to this one we can find the value of v1 v2 v3 in matlab So now we do in uh, MATLAB. So first CLC and uh, clear all. So now we have to feed the value of admittance matrix Y. So we have 3 into 3 matrix. So Y is equal to uh, bracket open. So we have to give the value of uh, Y11 and uh, Y12 value. We got uh, previously in our uh, mathematical calculation. Similarly, Y13 semicolon Y21 value Y22 value and uh, Y23 value semicolon. Now we have to give the value of uh, y31 and y32 and uh, y3 y33 value. So once again uh, check the values whether you have given uh, correct or not from previous calculation you got uh, when you derived the uh, equations by applying nodal analysis and uh, the KCL and now here we uh, give the value of uh, y31, uh, y32 and uh, y33 values.
so just uh, run this uh, program to check the whether the code is perfectly right up to this and now if we click the workspace here we will get the y admittance matrix uh, through matlab here so we got perfectly what exactly we got in the previous uh, uh, calculation you can even cross check these uh, values uh, after cross checking these values you can uh, close these variables so after admittance matrix we have to write the value of uh, i current value uh, i is equal to bracket open 5 5 semicolon 0 semicolon 2 so bracket close and semicolon now we have to uh, again uh, just we again check the value of uh, how it is evaluating so now equally got i is equal to 502 perfectly now we will write the formula for the voltage v is equal to v is equal to inverse of uh, y so there is a one matlab command is there to do the inverse so that is i n v i n v bracket we have to give the variable the we get the variable is uh, y so inverse of y into into i so now the formula uh, is completed so finally we will write display v now run this program we will get the value of uh, v1, v2 and uh, v3 in the command window we already got here v1 we got around 404.2857 and uh, v2 we got 350 and v3 we got uh, around 412.8571